Dapper Dino's weekly updates from the 17th of October to the 23rd are here, and also more information on the Fossil Tokenomics. Welcome back to LimeTube, and if you enjoy my videos, please leave a like, comment and subscribe as it really motivates me to create more content for you. Today I'm going to cover the weekly updates and also talk about the new Medium post which talks about the Fossil Tokenomics. Feedback that I had from my last video was they'd like to see an overview rather than me reading through the whole article. So I'll just talk through the points of interest. So the Dapper Dino's weekly recap, Spooky Airdrop, they've released Franken Dino, Witchy and Zombie Dinos. I've created another video on this but the Spooky Airdrops were dropped to a thousand Dino holders and they consisted of Franken Dino, Witchy and Zombie Dinos in a ratio of 100 400 and 500 respectively and if you collect all three you'll get a bone split and reward so if you want to know more check out my previous video ethereum towers winners have been announced and they're all starting to move in now there's colorful eggs community coloring contest a scavenger hunt which went on at the start of the week i couldn't find a team to join so unfortunately I didn't take part and so far $5,150 has been donated to the breast cancer awareness charity. Behind the scenes the top drawer merchandise shop setup is still going on. Fossil Fossil Fossil, we'll talk about that in a sec. Breeding dev work continues so everything's ongoing and some Breeding version 2 art which will also be displayed later on in this. Coming soon, the Fossil Tokenomics announcement. Part of that has already come out. Fam Friday story time and a Halloween dress up competition. So these are the three dinos that were spookily airdropped to you guys. But the news that a lot of people have been waiting for is regarding Fossil Tokenomics. The Dapper Dinos have provided this medium post to give us an overview of Fossil Tokenomics. There's going to be a max supply of 200 150 million fossil tokens and no more will get created after that. It's important to highlight that because there's not going to be an ever-ending supply of fossil tokens. Once the supply is minted that is the only time the fossil will be minted and the mint key will be burnt. Once the mint key is burnt they can no longer create fossil tokens. Vesting, so how the tokens are split up. 11% will go to the ecosystem fund. This is a linear vest over 30 months so I assume over the course of 30 months fossil will be going into the ecosystem fund 5 million or 2% will be going to the artists. Play to earn, 25% of fossil tokens will be going towards this. This is probably the game that they have planned. Advisors, 5% of tokens will go to them over the course of 12 months. Stake in rewards, this is where a large portion of the tokens will be going. It's non-linear and it will decrease over the two and a half years. Two and a half years is a long time in the NFT landscape so it'll be good to see how this turns out. And 20% will be going to the Dapper Dinos team who well and truly have earned it. The team always do a fantastic job. How to earn fossil? Breeding. So you can earn fossil by breeding. Breeding works such that Dino A initiates a let's say breeding contract with Dino B if Dino B wishes to accept, they will receive some fossil from Dino A and some fossil will go to all Dino holders too. Dino A in return will receive an egg which has a higher percentage chance of adopting some of the traits from Dino B and Dino A similar to how genetics work. And obviously the other way to earn fossil is by being a Dino holder. Every Dino holder will receive portion of transactions in the form of more fossil. Why do you need fossil? Fossil will be used for breeding. Every dino will be able to breed up to three times. Each time you breed, the cost of breeding gets more and more expensive. They've provided an easy to follow table to show how expensive it is to breed. As your dino gets more rare, the cost of breeding goes up and the second breed costs more than the first and the third cost more than the second. Therefore you will have to think wisely about when you wish to breed and with what kind of dino you wish to breed with. You'll pay more for breeding with rare dinos but there's a higher chance of your baby dino having the traits of one of these rare dinos. Breeding acts as a fee share. The fee is split as follows. 50% goes to the dino you choose to breed with. 
So dyno B in the example above. 30% goes to community redistribution. So this will go out to every single dyno distributed evenly. And 20% goes to an ecosystem growth fund. What is breeding? When two dynos make a baby dyno, that baby dyno will be based on real genetics and mutations to determine the traits of that dyno. And then traits will map out to skills which will impact how the dyno performs in the dino derby. So there's a hint to a game or competition right there. Here is the artwork for the baby dino cards. It looks pretty neat. It reminds me a bit like Top Trump's playing cards. Announcing dino hands. I was in the Discord the other night and someone was upset about how long-term holders or faithful dino OGs we're not getting rewarded for holding on to their dinos. Personally, I think that if you've owned a dino, it shouldn't matter how long you've owned it for. The community is growing more and more each day and there's new holders coming into the game and they want to hold for a while, but they didn't know about dinos up until recently. And for those that do choose to sell, it helps fund the dapper dinos. Don't forget that with every sale, the dapper dinos receive a royalty fee. Dino hands are just like diamond hands, but stronger. How will dino hands work? 2% of the total supply of fossil has been allocated to reward those with strong dino hands. Every week a snapshot will be taken at an undisclosed time and they will publish the results of the snapshot each week on Sunday. If you're in that snapshot, for every dino you hold, you will receive 500 dinos and a bonus of 5% the following week if you still hold your dyno the week after. The bonus 5% is compounding. One thing to note here is per dyno and you can have all your dynos in one wallet or spread across multiple wallets. It makes no difference. You will still be rewarded the same amount. One thing to note, if you are not captured in a snapshot, your bonus will reset. They've provided an example here. Let's say I have three dinos and I am captured in the first snapshot. I earn 1500 for those three dinos. Let's then assume I am captured in the following snapshot for the second week. So they'll get an additional 5%, which would earn them a total of 1575 fossil tokens for that week and now let's assume they have true dino hands and continue to hold for the following week they'll get 1653.75 fossil week 4 1736.43 fossil this will keep on going for eight weeks and those of you who have ever heard this quote albert einstein has apparently said that compounding is the eighth wonder of the world now let's assume i am captured in the first and second snapshot so i would get 1500 and 1575 fossil tokens respectively for the weeks which will give me a grand total of 3075 but week three i am not captured so i get zero fossil week four i have two dinos which means i get a thousand fossil and then week five I have two dinos still I get 1050 which includes the 5% of 1000 onto the two dinos that's showing how the bonus will reset what if you hold dinos at launch so 4% of the total supply has been allocated to dino holders but they've decided to vest this fossil over 90 days to encourage holding so they're going to be taking snapshots at the launch of fossil and 30 days, 60 days and 90 days after the launch of fossil, where in each snapshot you will earn 250 fossils per dino you own. So if you're captured in them four snapshots, then you will get a thousand fossil per dino that you hold. Other ways to earn are by holding a full karma set. If you hold the hatch set, you will get 3000 fossil. If you own the rich two set, you'll get 2200. And if you own the back of owner set, you'll get 1200 fossil if you still hold on to your pixel dino you'll get 25 fossil per pixel dino as well dino rainbow collecting one of each colored background 1500 fossil per completed collection and for every spooky dino you own you'll get 100 fossil per spooky dino and if you own all three you will get the Halloween completed set reward dino which will be revealed on October 31st and you will get rewarded a thousand fossil for that reward dino. So there we have it more information on the fossil tokenomics no release date has been announced as of yet but a lot of exciting stuff in the previous video I did mention that the Halloween set was out of my price range however 
the price is very volatile so if it drops a bit more potentially i might look at trying to complete the set i'll just go over the halloween set to show you how expensive it is right now i'm filming on saturday the 23rd of october at about 11 a.m uk time however i'm not sure when i'll release this video but as i mentioned the prices are very volatile so it will go up and down and the total price can vary by a couple of thousand dollars right now the zombie dino is at $363 the witchy dino is at $395 and the Franken Dino is at $2,360, which is 0.585 Ethereum, which gives a grand total of $3,118, which is still on the expensive side of things, but half the price of the other day. So it is getting cheaper. The price being cheaper also means that other people will potentially be able to purchase the dinos as well to complete the set. So the price could start rising again. So it's hard to judge whether to buy or not. In my position, it's hard to judge whether I can afford to pay for the free dinos. But one thing that makes me want to buy it is that I know I will get an additional dino as well, which there'll only be up to 100 dinos. Let me know what you thought of the fossil tokenomics in the comments below. And please like and subscribe as it really does motivate me to make more content for you. And it doesn't even cost you a single thing to hit the like button or subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.